Welcome everybody. Let's talk a little bit about these wildlife cameras. Where to set them. Alright, you can use these things around the home. They're good for home security. Down your driveway, around your house, up your stairwells, just, just anywhere you think you need them around the house. They're cheap and economical. Even down around your barn or your building. Anything to be disturbed. Now they make all kinds of these cameras. You can see there's many a variety, just endless. They even make the Wi-Fi's if you can afford them. Or you don't even have to go to your cameras, maybe change batteries. But what you want to do, you want to just get out in the areas that you want to put your cameras. Travel the trails, see what's heavily used, what's not. And just do a little scouting on your own there, where to place them. And where I like to place them is around heavily used Passways around these woods and just place them and even around the edge of these thickets inside where they come in where they go out exit points entrance points and you'd be surprised what, what could, you don't know what's using them just, just wildlife in general I love to put them in here places around the water and holes you can see around here like this where they wore it out coming to that water hole. You can see all these tracks. And another thing what you want to look for, you want to look for uh, a lot of deer droppings. Now these deer droppings, there, they'll be along the trails or out where they've been grazing, picking acorns or just traveling the trails, places like that. And in the late summer and early fall, you really want to look for stuff like this to put your cameras see what size deer is running around, these uh, scrapes and uh, rubs, these rubs here, they usually start late summer, early fall, and you can tell how fresh they are, watch using them by putting your camera in certain position on these trails. Now on these cameras, uh, you can use, use a, a strap belt method, strap them to a tree, or like I like to use a rod method screw it into the tree and screw that right on top of your rod. Now these cameras, you look at your uh, owner's manual and how to set them. Usually it's four to five foot above the ground is where you want to set them. And they blend in pretty good. You put them in some good places where they can't be noticed. You can see here, see how it, it kind of blends in right with the tree till you get right on it. Now these cameras at night, they, they got infrared in them, and you can see them. And when you when you make your camera rounds, I usually carry batteries, an extra manual in case I have to adjust something or some tools. And you can see the kind of pictures that you can get on your cameras. And you may have to move them around in different spots till you get the kind of action you want. Yeah. You find some really some crazy amazing pictures on some of these cameras, what these animals do. You even find now on the good pictures, you find some good, they make some good pictures besides the videos. They really make some good pictures. There's a good picture of a, a good mount right there. really appreciate y'all watching and I hope this helps you a little bit around there. Just use your common sense. So, I want to thank everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.